So Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are back and they did not uh, waste a single moment of their unexpected nine-month mission aboard the International Space Station. The delay that happened, instead they adapted, they explored and they made history. Right from handling the high-stakes repairs to growing fresh food in orbit, the extended stay became one of the most productive missions in recent space history. So how did they actually turn a delay into discovery? Let's find out. What do astronauts do when their return flight from outer space to Earth is indefinitely delayed? They get down to business. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore seamlessly transition from test crew to full-time ISS astronauts. Their extended stay in space meant more time for groundbreaking research, from understanding how human bones weaken in space to studying how plants grow without gravity. Their work could shape future deep science missions. The duo together conducted more than 150 experiments in nine months. Sunita Williams grew plants in space. She grew lettuce, radishes, mustard greens. Butch Wilmore worked hard to upgrade International Space Station's life support systems. You know, it's a loaded question because, um, you know, there's just qualifications for the job, right? And it doesn't really matter who you are. I think that's the biggest thing I, when I'm talking to kids, it doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, you know, what your ethnicity is, what your religion is. You know, if you can do the job, you can do the job. And I challenge people to just get out there and do it. And don't let anybody else tell you no. You know, if you can do it, why not do it? And, you know, Butch reminds me every now and then when we get these types of questions, um, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of funny because... I don't think I'd be here unless he thought I was good enough to be here and our whole team thought I was good enough to be here. So, you know, I just want to do the job and I think anybody who is really committed and ready to go can, can do the same thing. From floating in zero gravity to farming in it, Sunita Williams became one of the first astronauts to successfully harvest leafy greens in orbit. In fact, some say that Sunita's work with plant growth is a major step for future moon and Mars colonies. Fresh food in space is no longer science fiction. They weren't just passengers on the ISS, they became mission-critical crew members, fixing systems, training astronauts and ensuring the station's smooth operation. Both Williams and Wilmore trained new crew members remotely for spacewalks. Eight months into their mission, Williams and Wilmore took time to connect with Earth, sharing breathtaking images from time to time. But what do you think was the hardest part about being stranded in space? It brings to mind family and all the people on the ground who support us. So, you know, it's it's been a roller coaster for them, probably a little bit more so than for us. You know, we're here, we have a mission, we're just doing what we do every day. And, you know, every day is interesting because we're up in space and it's a lot of fun. So um, I think the hardest part is, you know, having the folks on the ground have to not know exactly when we're coming back. Know, of course, that we are coming back with uh, Crew 9. Uh, but, you know, all, the, all of that uncertainty, I think, is probably the most difficult part. In When the SpaceX Crew 10 finally reached ISS for the International Space Station, ready to replace them and take over after nine long months, this is how Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore embraced the moment. Onishi, the first Crew 10 astronaut through the hatch. Followed by Peskov. Nicole Ayers, the first of the flies, newest class of astronauts to enter. And Nearly 300 days after they left Earth, it's homecoming for two stellar astronauts. What started as a simple test mission became a lesson in adaptability, problem solving, and resilience. Well, in its uh, briefing uh, shortly after the successful splashdown of Crew 9, NASA congratulated the astronauts for their historic feat. They also shed light upon the docking process, the astronauts' space journey and their spacewalks. Listen in to Steve Stitch, who is the program manager for NASA's commercial crew program, and to also Bill Spech, who is the operations integration manager. The weekend was culminated today with the landing of Crew 9. Uh, we dragon splashed down at about 5.57 p.m. off the coast of Tallahassee. That's our first uh, commercial crew program landing at Tallahassee. We've had a couple cargo flights land there. Um, and now it's great to have Crew 9 and the Freedom Capsule back home. And its fourth flight is now in the history books. And of course, we're overjoyed. I, I watched every crew member come out of the vehicle today. Post-landing, it was great to watch Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander 
come out of Dragon and, and smile and wave as they came out of the vehicle. Um, you know, we'll get them, they're on the ship now, we'll get them back uh, to meet the NASA aircraft and then back to meet with their families. I also want to thank our partners at the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, they were there on scene protecting, protecting the scene and making sure that it was safe for mariners in the area. Overall, I would say it was a really clean undocking, uh, reentry and landing. Uh, the Dragon vehicle performed extremely well, didn't really have uh, any issues to work. Um, you know, little things, uh, a GPS outage that we reset a filter on and things like that. Uh, today, the sequence went perfectly. We jettisoned the trunk, executed the deorbit burn, uh, closed the nose cone and did the entry. Uh, you could hear uh, Nick call down when we finally got the vehicle back through the blackout, 4.6 Gs, and you could tell they were doing well. And then braced for the parachute deploy of the drogues and then the mains and then have them splashed down. So parachutes performed well. Uh, the whole system worked just as planned. Just some, some interesting uh, stats as we, uh, as we go through. Nick and Alexander both spent 171 days in space uh, on this trip. And the arrival and departure of four different visiting vehicles to the ISS. Butch and Sutton spent 286 days in space and they got to see eight different visiting vehicles coming and going uh, from the ISS. Uh, Nick and Butch each uh, conducted one spacewalk and Sonny conducted two. Um, that actually gave Sonny the record for most time on spacewalks by a woman and puts her fourth overall in terms of time outside uh, doing, uh, doing spacewalks. The crew, crew contributed to more than 150 unique experiments, like Joel said, um, including stem cell technology to potentially address blood diseases, autoimmune disorders, and cancers.